Stephen, first of all, your reflections in the game today? Yeah, I think um, first half, I think we started relatively well in the game and then obviously Celtic scored. And they had a little period of dominance there. Um, but overall, we were delighted to, to come away with a, a result. I don't think we were at our very best today. Um, maybe the energy levels weren't what, what they should have been, but um, yeah, it's another, it's another good result for us. I guess one of the, the big positives was Alfredo finally grabbing his goal against Celtic and you saw what that meant to all, all the boys. Yeah, of course, I think it's been coming in all for games for a while. He's been unlucky in uh, numerous games and numerous chances that he's had, so delighted for him to, to, to get um, the goal today and um, we had a few other chances. Obviously, Raz has had a, a great effort with, with the volley in the first half and in the second half, we had a little period there with a wee bit of dominance and kept them in and maybe could have uh, made some more of the chances that we had then. Obviously, you've signed a new deal with the club, taking you through to the end of next season now. What were the, the key reasons behind you deciding that you wanted to play on for at least another season? Yeah, obviously, like everybody else, we've been really enjoying this season. It's been uh, great to this point. We want to finish it off in a high, still a lot to play for after the national break. And obviously, um, we're trying to build something in the club and I want to be a part of that. So I'm delighted to get it done and looking forward to what the future holds. Yeah, the opportunity to perhaps play Champions League football again next season to continue to push on for, for more trophies just how much that a draw was that for you? Yeah of course Europe in general has been great for us since I've came to the club but it's a stage we enjoy playing on I think um, our style is, is suited to as well we've had some good results obviously the other night was a disappointment but um, hopefully we can qualify for the Champions League as you say and it would be great to play in that stage again. Into the international break now and I think every time you get into an international break there's another record to break and this time it's the all time British record for, for caps just give us a word on what that would mean to you to, to overtake Peter Shelton's record. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not something I certainly set out to do. Um, at the start, you obviously set out to play for your country and it's been a privilege to play as many times as I have. And Luckily, I'm in a position now where I got, got the opportunity to, to beat records. And uh, Obviously, it wasn't so long ago that, that I got the, the Northern Ireland one, so that was really special for me and likewise, this will be the same. But, uh, of course, going into a new campaign, we want to try and get off to a good start. It'll be very difficult with... Italy uh, being our first game away from home so we're under no, un, under no illusions how difficult it will be but really looking forward to getting up with the squad and getting back to the boys Is it the sort of game that you guys can go into given the record you've had against the, the top nations you know, for the, the past 10-15 years with a, a degree of confidence? Yeah, listen, we, we know how difficult it is especially away from home to get results against the bigger nations and you need everything to go f for you uh, on those nights but we'll go out there and, and be well set up and organised and, and try and play with energy and, and show what we can do and whenever we get our opportunities we're going to have to be ruthless and take them to give ourselves an opportunity to get something from the game.